Welcome back, everybody, to Serene Queen TV. It's your host, T. How's everybody doing today? Are y'all ready for the fourth? I really don't care. <laughs> like, I just do not. Um, so, you know, okay. But I'm here today to talk about um, Jonathan Majors, Megan Good, and like this whole ritual that they're doing okay so Jonathan Majors I think he is definitely having to pay the price for his success um you know right before all of this happened he did that shoot with Ebony which was like highly satanic and you know there's a lot of pink programming you know peep that you guys pink is um connected to like green is in I think pink and green are complementary colors but a part of why they complement is because they're opposites from what I'm to understand so pink and green are just the inversion of each other and it matters because they're both linked to Venetian energy and Luciferian energy um all of this stuff matters when in talking about the occult and science symbolism so yeah, like, he was doing all this, you know, symbolism. Now he's in, like, this crazy court case. I think it's so crazy because with celebrities, they get involved with all this occult stuff. But, like, the same people who they work with put them in position to, like, do spells and rituals on their own lives. Like, that just work to their demise. And, of course, I mean, one could say this is all a humiliation ritual and he might build back better. But this is forever a gash on his resume. I mean, he's been dropped from so many films and all this other stuff. So I just, you know, find them, hmm, like right before this happened, you know, you were, you know, doing symbolism and all this other shit. Now, you know, it's giving complete and utter struggle bus. So just crazy you guys and plus when you involve yourself in all that dark magic like you do open yourself up to like other people doing spells on you and it working because you don't have any spiritual protection so that is like that's it's a dirty game okay now I mentioned Megan Good and all of this because if you guys have eyes to see it's so obvious like what's going on here just in my opinion, I find it funny how with, what's his name? Michael B. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors starred in Creed together, particularly Creed 3. I don't, I didn't watch Share the Creeds. I don't give a fuck about the movie Creed and boxing, blah, blah, blah. Only boxing I know is Floyd Mayweather. If it's not Mayweather, I don't know it and I'm not invested. And I like Deontay Wilder, but I'm not like, you know, invested. I'm not even invested in Gervonta. I don't know what's going on. Gervonta Davis. But I don't know what's going on with other people. Nor this damn movie. Anything boxing, I really don't know like that. But all I know is Michael B. Jordan and this guy starred uh this guy being Jonathan Major starred in Creed 3 together and it was like getting a ton of promo and peep how Michael B. Jordan was seeing Lori Harvey briefly and we all knew that it was a PR stunt we all knew that it was fake you know what I mean and then right after Lori Harvey starts dating Damson Idris another actor so these guys in the game or in the industry are known to be linked with white women they've reached their success black men typically go after white women when they reach their success and I do believe there's deeper stuff going on in the industry too but we do know for sure that, hmm, like, Lori Harvey has been going from actor to actor in, like, these little brief relationships. And, you know, didn't she was with Diddy in Future? Like, she's been with, like, some high-profile guys, and it's, like, kind of brief, and, you know, and it's, like, guys, it's it's called escorting. Like, you're paying me for my time. I'm here to, you know, be your date to a few events. 
you know, like we have a contract. I, you know, it comes with an NDA. You pay me, we get picks. Like we have an arrangement. Like you don't, you can't be seen with other people because that violates the contract and it like violates, you know, like people believing this PR move. And that's how this stuff really works in real life, you guys. So I just don't want there to be any confusion. And I mention all of that to say it seems like when the tea got out about Jonathan Majors, he called Michael B. Jordan and he said, where did you get Lori Harvey? Like, could you give me the number of that agent or agency where you booked her, where you found her? And it's giving that Michael B. Jordan gave him the information and... You know, unfortunately, and I don't think Lori Harvey is a good, I don't think she would have been, she she would be shockingly even less believable than him with Megan Good. But she's also in a, last I checked, got a contract with Damson Idris right now, so she's unavailable. But, um, he'd be a bad look for her too, but, um, they just happen to have Megan Good there, another actress who needs some press. I mean, I haven't seen her in anything recently. We just know she's got divorced. We know she's been rocking the blonde hair. We know she's been exhibiting herself a certain way online. And see, that's what I'm talking about. See, the modern day women and the Jezebels are going to say, oh, like, Megan's free now. Like, we miss Megan. She's outside. Yeah, outside walking the fucking boulevard like the rest of you hookers. Like, it's sad that she got divorced. I don't think that her husband, I don't think he was like, you know, he he gives strange vibes. He does. Like, he kind of seems a little bit weird. But that doesn't change the fact that the way Megan has been carrying herself since she's been single again is a little weird. Like, it's a little weird. And it's a little risque. It's a little sexual. It's a little, like, yeah, hot and ready. And especially all over social media. And again, social media, especially specifically Instagram, is one of the biggest. Instagram is like, it's just public back page. Because so many people are using Instagram to advertise, you know, their look, their body, their beauty, you know. And what are people going to do? You know, slide in their DMs. What are they going to do? Chat you up. And eventually, like, you know try to discuss something transactional like whether it's the man initiating it or the woman initiating it like that's how it goes down and a lot of these celebrities are escorting on the side that's how a lot of them make their extra money because everybody knows music don't sell and acting gigs for black girls are hard to book so why do you think megan was fucking bleaching Yeah, trying to get some more press in the industry, okay? Trying to get some more bookings. So, yeah, it's giving that, like, he found her agency, plus a lot of these agencies, yeah, they'll they'll give you some acting roles, they'll give you some modeling gigs, they'll get you some placements, you know, they'll give you some real work, but they also got some under-the-table earnings, too. You know, that L.A. rent is no joke. So, yeah, like... Megan's an actress. She's looking for some booking. She's looking for some press. She could use, you know, some cameras in her face. Because we haven't seen her on, you know, big screen as of recently. You guys tell me. I don't know. I just can't think of anything notable she's done lately as far as her actual work. And now they're parading around Red Fucking Lobster, you know, Megan Good and Jonathan Majors with this make-believe, so clearly, you know, orchestrated stunt. But more than a stunt, I think it's a ritual. Okay? Two people who are hard up, two people who have been been sold out to Hollywood, they both need to come up. She needs a check. He needs redemption so he can get back to his checks. And, you know, they both need some fucking media coverage. So, yeah, it's giving, like, hey, we both need and want the same things. Like, what the fuck else you got going on? Yeah, nothing. Let's do this. 
I really hope this pays off for Megan. I don't think it will, though. I don't know why she's deciding to be the sacrificial lamb in this situation. It's very mind-blowing because she has to know that, like, the people who support her films, black women, you know, and any black man that has a damn conscious and a working brain doesn't, like, is not going to support this. They're not going to support this. They're like we are the ones who support Megan Good films. Like we like her. She's a bombshell and in, in an American beauty in our community, in the black community. Like Megan, you getting with some white woman loving fucking abuser? Do you like how does that work? And that's why I'm like I don't like I don't know what type of ritual this is, what kind of Freemasonic, you know, again, build back better program cuz that's how Masons work. It's brick by brick, motherfucker. So I don't know how this all works and like what's what's really the inner workings of it, but I have a feeling Jonathan's gonna get the better end of the stick than Megan. You know, men get to usually redeem themselves better than women do, especially in the public eye. So I don't know. Do I think Jonathan Matrix is guilty? Fuck yeah. I think his his end of the ritual is working out and paying off by him you know, claiming that he's about to suit his fucking Caucasian woman. I do think Jonathan Majors, I believe all that negative shit about him. I don't care. You guys can think whatever you want. I think he's guilty. You know, I really, really do. And I think all of this parading around with Megan Good is nothing but an Illuminati ritual. More than it is a PR stunt, on the front end, it's a PR stunt. On the back end, it's an Illuminati ritual. Let's talk in the comments. Love y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Have a lovely fourth. Talk to y'all in the next one.